Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? What's going on, y'all? Holy shit here. Glad you made it. Appreciate you stopping by. Let's talk about Black Knight costume on defense. First, I have a question. Does anybody know what clip that movie was from? Leave a comment below. Anyhow, be the first. Anyway, let's talk about these stats. This dude is limit broken. Meow. At 705 attack, 1064 defense, 1896 HP, tanky AF, I will say. He was always tanky, even as a barbarian, not limit broken. Before he was a barbarian, which totally sucked. Now he's a wizard. That still sucks. Because it doesn't make any sense. He doesn't do any sort of a special attack. Everything's based off of emblems. It's such a waste of a class. Let's give these heroes the class they belong to. Small giant, please. Anyhow, enough ranting, enough crying. Let's talk about Butter Scratch. His ability. The caster has a 50% chance to drop any received damage to one for four turns. I will say that's probably the best taunt ability as far as protection there is. Now, there are other taunt heroes that do cooler things, such as Ludwig with the mana boost, but this here, that is any damage, can be dropped down to one. There's not much better protection than that because it's 50% chance. So with other taunt heroes... Some have a percentage chance to drop that percentage down, but you still get, you know, a fair amount of damage there. Like Ludwig is, I think, 80%. Uh, Kara is, what is that, 70? I can't remember. And that's only for offensive special skills. This is for all damage. You know what would be pretty nifty is if they created a taunt hero that had dodge that would be cool that'd be really cool actually that'd be dangerous there would be so many complaints about that but i would love to see that anyway so this caster gets taunt that prevents enemies from using special skills on the casters for four turns so you're protecting the whole team obviously you can dispel that but even if you dispel that you're still protected for an additional turn so sometimes that's just enough time for them to do their thing and then all allies get plus 54% additional attack for four turns. So let's break that down here. So before he had these similar type abilities. So before he had a increased attack of plus 45%. And then they had to receive some sort of damage. And then that could end up multiplying and get you like 135 plus attack or give or take whatever that amount was. So there might be a little loss there, but I think I'd rather have one additional turn of a guaranteed 54% other than, you know, a, a less of a turn to maybe not even, like, be able to utilize that attack at all. Um, and then that plus turn for the 50% chance to drop any received damage, uh, that essentially makes this taunt hero still one of the best in game. I'll label him as maybe my favorite top two. He is part of the Avalon family, which is kind of a waste of time. How many times have you seen an all Avalon family set up on defense? Probably not since they came out, and there's a reason for that. There's flaws in the family. For one, um, you got King Arthur. He does... Like a singular attack. You got Lady of the Lake, which is awesome. Right? Heals. You know, you know what she does. She's legit. Then you got Guinevere, another another healer, right? That does no attack. Drops your your mana boost down for the whole, you know, squad, but whatever. Uh, she was a main tank that was used once upon a time. No longer used really. And who the hell was the other one? Morgan Le. I think, which was some sort of vampire. I'm not even sure how she like blends with this this synergy at all. But so anyway, with the Avalon family, you get a 5, 10, 15, 20% critical 
uh, chance, right? And then with the healing, four, six, nine, up to 13% chance of healing. So the healing is there. That's kind of cool. That kind of works with this type of setup. But for the attack, there's not enough attacking heroes for that critical to I mean, I know you can, do, you know, utilize the critical off of, um, you know, the, uh, the shields on the board. But, you know, I want to see that critical, you know, be used for my offensive special skill. So what is missing from that family? And I don't know. There's so much that's going on lately. I can't keep up with all the new updates. But I feel like they're missing a dark hero. And if they have one already, I... And I'm talking five stars here. If they have one, I've never seen them. Uh, and I feel like when you use like a family bonus, you kind of want one of each color so that... You know, not everybody can afford to you spend a whole lot of bank on a whole bunch of, you know, mana troops to, you know, get multiple colors on the defense. So I think they need to have a superhero dark purple uh, that hits all enemies. Something like that that just does a brutal attack that would make you want to use uh, the synergy of a Avalon family bonus of five. And maybe give some of these other characters like Guinevere little update you know some something to bring her back I, I know that's why they use utilize this costume deal or whatever to try to make people like chase them or whatever but they're still kind of lacking in that family department so let's talk about uh pros and cons here so i'm not really seeing too many cons uh i'd rather have the you know the plus 54 percent attack for four turns i'd rather have that than uh, the the boosted attack for only three turns because that additional turn is huge same thing for the taunt the same same thing goes for that so offensively you know he's still a, you know he's still the dude that you want on your setup he's going to protect you he's going to help you know attack when you're using your offensive special skills or just shield uh, damage on any other hero i think that's pretty much evident that you know he's an A plus offensive hero. Um, now defensively, there's so many ways to just there's so many dispellers out there that it's really tough um, to really utilize taunt characters the way um, they used to be utilized. So there's so many different dispellers that a taunt is great on defense, but there's nothing that beats an explosive attack team. So. He's still by far one of the, the, you know, really good defensively. But now with all these counters, um, as far as defensively, I'll have to list him as an A. Back then, he was definitely an A+. Plus, uh, but now with today's, um, you know, ways to, to counter, you know, that drops you down a little bit. He's a solid A on defense, solid A-plus on offense. Um, definitely somebody you want in your hangar. Um He's fun to use, absolutely a beast. So, yeah, I would say that's a you know fair assessment. Um, you know, he's definitely somebody that you want to you know use, utilize, and you know max out. So, if you get him, up him, put him in your hangar. He'll help you um, on Titans. He'll help you on offense. He'll help you on defense. Uh, he's definitely a game changer if you haven't already uh, had him before, uh, but. I wouldn't chase him. So that's my assessment for today. Let me know what y'all think. I'll catch you on the next one. Later, y'all.